get these geese here. Right, welcome back to another behind the scenes video. It's just starting to rain. My name's Adam, I'm a wedding filmmaker. If you don't already follow the channel, subscribe if, you, if you're not. This is gonna be a behind the scenes video of today's wedding. Um, and I'm gonna sort of show you how I film and, do, and set up my shots and <coughs> cover the ceremonies and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, it's, it's, I always try and do something different with these BTSs and today uh, is a, the main focal point of today is the fact that it's a Jewish wedding. So um, I don't do many of these, but I just thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys um, a different kind of setup because the, the, the ceremony is very different. There's a lot of religious aspects that need to be covered that I'll sort of talk to you about later. Um, and they're having a normal English sort of civil ceremony as well. So there's two ceremonies. There's going to be Israeli dancing, traditional Jewish Israeli dancing later on, which if you've not seen before is mental. So make sure you're watching for that later because um, that goes that goes mad. Um, and they've got speeches, there's about 200 guests. There's, there's so much going on. So um, I think it'll be a good episode to kind of show you a bit of my approach. It's, it's no different to usual. Um, I've still got my, my two cameras and my handheld kind of set up, but um, there's just loads more going on. So. Uh, I'm going to show you a bit of the ceremonies, both of them, and the, the Israeli dancing, I want to focus on that, and yeah, I'm waffling. Just in the ceremony room, um, and the Jewish, it's, what are we on, half one, the Jewish ceremony's at three. Um, so I've just, I've just dumped the bags for now, I'm going to make go straight up to the bride and say hello to her and film a bit of prep, and then I'm going to come back down in about 45 minutes and start thinking about setting up for the ceremony. Um, I was looking at maybe filming a bit of the guys setting up the ceremony, titivating flowers and um, all those kind of detail shots setting up can look quite nice as a sort of scene setting story element. Um, but to be honest, they're just sweeping floors and putting tape down and it's not the most glamorous. Do you know what? I always like to film clocks whenever I see them. or get a shot of clocks because it gives you reference to the time, yeah. Yeah, a bit more context into the day so far. We've already been to the groom prep, which was uh, a different location. Um, and obviously Stu wasn't there to film that, but it was just, I, I pre-agreed with them when I spoke to them the other day uh, that I'd go and see the boys. I, did, I don't, I never direct, I never dictate anything. So I didn't want to say like, I want you getting ready at this time. I didn't want to direct and influence what he was doing. I just said, I'll turn up at 12 and whatever's going on, I'll capture a bit and then I'll just to say hello really. And then come to the, come to the venue for the bride. So we got to the boys this morning and they were already suited and booted. So it was just a case of getting a few shots of him having a pint really. Um, but I didn't want to be too in his face early on and put him off the camera because the rest of the day I will just melt into the background, very discreet sort of style. He won't even know I'm here, which is why they booked me really. Um, but I didn't want him thinking that I was, I didn't want him being put off the camera too early on. So we just did a few discreet sort of shots of him having a beer and that was enough. I think the main thing was to get here and get set up. Um, and I'm gonna go and see the bride and find wherever she is, get a few bits of her makeup. And then, and then yeah, go from there. About like that statue. Uh, <coughs> handheld all the way as well. Uh, everyone always asks, like, do you, do you always shoot handheld? Yes, I do. Always shoot handheld um, because this 55 that I'm growing very fond of is brilliantly stabilised, so I can get away with it. Stills. Just setting up for the ceremony whilst we've got because the brides sort of not decent or wanting cameras at the minute so whilst we've got 10 minutes thought I might as well get the cameras out and the tripods out and stuff. Um, come, in, come in on this kit bag, um, usual setup, second cam, second cam on, a, on a wide lens 24, um, this will be on the monopod, this will be from the back, that me and the monopod will be at the front. Um, as soon as we've got Stu here filming this, BTS. Um, I'm going to make use of a third angle, third camera for the ceremony, which is also going to be from the back. Is it an 85 year on? So we'll get a tight shot from the back as well as this. So from the back down the aisle, we'll have a wide and a tight, and then I'll be at the front. Um, getting everything else, because there's just a few elements, a bit like a, like a white wedding, where you've got things like the 
uh, exchanging of the rings and stuff <coughs> with the Jewish wedding. There's a few little elements. Uh, they have a blessing over some wine. They smash the glass. Um, so they need to be, I need to be at the front really so that I can get a clean shot of those, a close up, get some details of like when they're doing those bits. But other than that, it's the same setup as usual. <clears throat> when you're filming kids, I always like to do, you know, like the old um, cow and chicken, Tom and Jerry approach of like only showing adults from the waist down. And it's like a kid's perspective because kids are like this high. So whenever I film a shot with kids, I always make sure I'm down at their level and just show the adults it sort of like that. <laughs> so, a bit hectic so far, um, but the ceremony is about five minutes off being started, so um, I'm just going to start micing up audio wise. Um, what I always do with, with Jewish ceremonies, more so than um, normal civil ceremonies, is make sure that I've mic'd up the celebrant or whoever's conducting the uh, speaking. Yeah, so um, they, they are actually using a, a mic here for the ceremony, so I'm going to taper a, a TX650 to that, so that I've got audio from that. This, this mic should cover most of the ceremony, so hopefully that'll be a good one audio source coverage. Uh, but I will also put a backup mic on the groom and one on the celebrant. And that's it, and then uh, just a case of setting up the cameras and good to go. Are you conducting, are you the rabbi? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, if, if, if I can clip one to your pocket, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Um, is it, will this be used at all for the, the blessings or anything? For, um, saying the blessings, uh, uh, reading the ketubah. Okay, yeah, perfect. So, right, that will go in there. Thank you very much, yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Um, I will still use this as just a backup ambient, if that's all right. That's the back angle, um, this is the back angle sorted on the tripod, 24mm lens, um, 5.6 aperture, auto ISO. Once the bride's walked in, I'm going to move this into the middle. Jewish ceremony is done um, and they've turned the room around for the civil ceremony now so um, just a, again a two camera setup but a bit more relaxed now. Um, uh, my, again my wide angle is a 24mm, I'm just going to leave that at the back down the middle and I'll be at the front on the monopod with the other angle on a 55mm lens um, and it's just a, a simple civil sort of ceremony setup and we'll get Stu filming a bit of me so that you can sort of see how I move about the, about the ceremony. Um, but should, I think it's just going to be civil vow, vows and ring exchange again. And then it'll be into the drink reception to get a bit of that before they sit down for the meal. It's a very busy schedule today, but hopefully we'll be able to show you as much as possible because it's, it's, it's going to be good. This super wide and sort of directed up at the ceiling to get all these big nice beams in.
that's how group chats, group chats aren't something that always necessarily cover. But I'm just getting a few in between bits today, just so it's, it's a good way of tick, ticking the box of um, getting every sh getting everyone in, you know, like just. I've, I've definitely got a shot of all the important family members if I cover this bit. Um, so just a few in between the bits whilst the photographer's working. <laughs> got to get Neil in. You always get the photographer. Get a shot of the groups, but then shoot the photographer as well so it like, makes sense what's going on. So wide. Now that the bridal party have rejoined the guests, so I can have a mad five minutes grabbing them, the main important people mingling with everyone. Just waiting for this bridal party group shot. I'm gonna bootleg on the back of the photographer's stuff for a minute. Just so I've got some stuff of the bridal party. Yeah, thank you. A bit of bokery kind of candle stuff is always nice. Showered up the field. Um. The guests are coming into for the dinner in a bit and shortly. As soon as the bride and groom get announced in, they're going to come in through like a professional line and they're going straight into this traditional Israeli Jewish dancing, um, which is going to happen over there. So we're going to, as soon as the guests come in, I need to be ready for the bride and groom getting into doing. I'll film that and then straight in 20 minutes of hardcore dancing. Lights well, turned out really nice. walkway thing. Um, <laughs> there's a silhouette they can do there as well. Just gives them five minutes breather as well, doesn't it? Yeah. In fact, you know what, I think maybe we'll go to the front, but if I put them there, it's just going to go manic. You don't mind me tagging along though, no? Mate, no, no. And, and equally, anything you want, just say. Probably not, but I will. Okay. Thanks, I'll bear it in mind. <laughs> no, dude. Back at Kevin, that's it, gorgeous, that light is killer. And then, as you are, amazing. Okay, we're done, we're done, thank you. 
with the speeches so to know they're where they're, they're going to be Yeah, stood. they're going to be done from, there's like a lectern and a map stand just there. Oh yeah, so we're okay. We're going to bring it forward a little bit. Perfect. All right, mate, thank you. So I've just been informed by the planner, um, speeches, speeches, that they're going to use this lectern for all the speeches. So I'm just going to, I've got a bit of Velcro stuff here to strap the my mic to this contraption. I'll pick up all the speeches. That'll sit there, job done. And then uh, just work out the, where the cameras are going, the angles. Probably just gonna have a wide on the top table and then I'll have a shot focused on the speaker. And that's, that's jobs are good.
Oh, so, well, thanks um, for letting me know. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's all about me anyway. Mm. So that's that's a wrap. Uh, turned out to be a really good day in the end. Do you know what we've had? That like the Israeli dancing uh, before the dinner. The trailer. Or already, I know that the trailer is going to be um, heavy on the Israeli dancing stuff um, because the couple were really excited about that element of the day, and it turned out to be really good. And we had. To, do you know what? Considering the weather we had earlier on, which is horrendous, we got, then got an amazing sunset. So actually ended up with some really nice footage and it's going to make for a, a mega film so it was a, a bit of a hectic day because there's so much going on but it's, it's just gonna um we've, we've got loads of really cool sort of cinematic stuff so it's gonna make for a really cool uh, highlight film i think um but yeah so that that was that's a that was a bts of a jewish wedding um, which i don't do very often so it was a good it was, it was nice to be able to show that one off for a change uh, obviously we had the Jewish ceremony the different elements there as well as the civil ceremony <coughs> and the Israeli dancing which was the main focus I guess of today um, and that's the kind of what I want to show off the most um, so yeah if you yeah, hope you like this video and please let me know if, if you do if you have any questions leave them in the comments as ever I'll be putting all my stuff in the description my gear my kit choices whatever so but if you have any other questions please let me know if you're not subscribed already and you like this video and you want to see more then subscribe because uh, I've got I've got plenty coming, um, and I have I will be or have already, depending on when you're watching, have posted the finished film from today. That's up on the channel as well. All being well, touch wood. Um, so I'll leave a link for that. And thanks very much. I'll see you in the next one.